Well, <coughs> we're at the back end of Thurmire, and that's what we are faced with. Road closed. We tried to go the other way, road closed that way. So, for anybody coming this way, you can't get. So it's gonna to have to be plan B. We're gonna go up the Raven Crag and we can't. So plan B. I'm just working on that now. I've got no idea what plan B is yet. So reconfigure it. We'll get back to you. Yep, here we are. Plan B, south of Thal, that's so where we're going to go up there, there's a footpath that leads up to it, just dump the car here, you can see where we are, all over track out common, Clough Head, Lake Dodd, little one in the corner over there, this is where we camped not long ago, right in the centre there, high rig, Absolutely stunning. So yep, it's about half past four now. I'm gonna walk up there, and as you can see the footpath comes across there, up to the hose there, and then we're gonna go up. Flanks of Blencathra. Beautiful. So we'll see you very soon. Southerfell and Blencathra, or Scalesfell if you like. There we go, there's Sharp Edge. The breeze is welcoming. It's really warm. We've got a lovely breeze today though. Chattery, Sharp Edge, Manadales, there's the Cairn, there's someone up there somewhere. We just tuck behind this little lump here just to give us a bit of uh, a wind break. Absolutely stunning. A bit of haze about, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad at all. You see the A66 just down there, there's Penrith. 
There's Sue, just shut it up. Oh good, oh good. Ted Flames in absolutely super. Yeah, looking good. Susie just making a cup of tea. And we're both ready for one as well. <coughs> it's a bit of a tump. Give us a better view. Yeah, it goes. There we go. Good morning from Sutterfell. Looking at Blaine Cathery. Pretty good night's sleep. In and out. You can see the breeze has gone up a little bit. But uh, it's not cold. It's breezy. A bit of a lion this morning because we didn't care. We didn't think we get disturbed too much. So far we have. We're going to get a cup of tea. And start packing up and getting off. So, uh, yeah, there wasn't a. Uh, we did a bit of a time lapse, but wasn't too, too good of a sunset last night. The clouds are coming in. There certainly was for sunrise as well. It's not cold. There's Susie. Good morning. <laughs> just, just having a rundown. <laughs> run it? it was. <laughs> Giving us a wave. I think he's that same chap who came up yesterday. Remember him in the red? He's in red again. He's seen two tents. Listen, give you one of our rucksacks if he runs then. <laughs> why are you going? Why are you going down, dude? Just take his list down. Dad, just take this with you. <laughs> Watch this edge. You want to strengthen them legs up, do you? Yeah. Have a twenty kilo rucksack. Weird, isn't it? Wind's blowing up. Yeah. A little tip, yeah. when you've got mud, this is really good stuff, without using tissues, it stops your bag getting dirty. There you go, look at that, excellent. Good little pegs from Alp Kit, especially when the weather's uh, as it is. They're all done. They're done. And these are good little pegs as well, little spikes. These are from Outkit as well, titanium. Good stuff. They're brilliant. What are these ones for, babe? These MSRs? They, 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 really, they're snow pegs. Snow pegs. Um, what, about, what about sand? And sand pegs, yeah. Sand pegs. 
Didn't bring the deltas. But they, with them being so long, strong, yeah. they gave the wind. Just had another cup of tea as well, which was lovely. We bought some uh, real milk. And uh, I'm going to do that from now on because I can't stand powdered milk, really. And these are good. These are the, the bigger ones. There you go. There you go. About the same length as them. Um, excellent pegs. Alp kit. 22 in total. Is it 22, babe? It's supposed to be 22. Plus the, yeah, that we've just taken out, 22. They are expensive, so, uh, well, not too bad, but you don't want to keep leaving pegs behind and buying new. Right, we're on the hunt for a new, uh, we're on the hunt now for more pegs. Over and out for now. Sacks for the dogs, they're just about empty. Rubbish bag. And well, we've wrapped up the ground sheet with the tent. Yeah. The tent. Bag in there. Thank you. The Namage GT. Lovely tent, especially when you've got two dogs, even if you haven't. There we go. That's how you spell it. We've had one breakage with it, but uh, our fault. <laughs> Your fault for uh, not pegging it out properly. We had severe gales, but I, could, I have to say, Hilly Bird, I can't fault their services. Brilliant. Hilly Bird were brilliant. Brilliant. Something's on it. No pegs, no litter, nothing. A bit of flat grass, that's all you'll see. That'll soon come back, especially if the sheep come around. We're all packed up, dogs are ready, Sue's ready, I'm ready. We're out of here. It's been nice, it's been very, very nice. The time is. Time is 12.05. Probably the latest we've ever left a left a site. But the weather's lovely. There's hardly any breeze. It is a breeze, it's not a wind. And we really didn't want to rush. We've not disturbed anybody, nobody's disturbed us. Not been anybody's way. So uh, yeah. Nice little pitch that. A really good, really good night. So uh, we're going off the hill now, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Happy camping!
Desolation comes upon the sky. Now I see fire.